If you've ever parodied the introduction of a far more successful YouTuber simply because you found a similar looking t-shirt on sale for $10, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, it's the Good Sir Knight. Welcome. I actually don't really care for flannel, I know. Terrible, unforgivable sin that it is, but um, also not a lumberjack. And it's the cool hipster thing to do now. Well, I know we're actually run Hawaiian shirts now. That's right. This is the older version. But I wanted to do an intro. Shout out to a really good YouTube channel, Extra Points, if you know who it is. And no, not, not Mythic. Mythic, your comment down there doesn't count. Everyone just, you know, ignore him down in the comments. But today we're doing a little sort of mini review for an object similar to the Obscore Maritime I purchased for what I got from one of my buddies. It's a uh, Cry Precision AVS 1000 pack and it's gonna be a pseudo review because A it's not mine. I was just getting the luxury of uh, getting to review it for all of you guys but more importantly this thing's more so designed to be the back portion of a JPC, either a 1.0 or a 2.0, depending on your preference. You can still make it into a backpack, but it's kind of more designed that way. And you basically slot in that armored plate back there, and you wear this on your back. Now this one is a multi-cam, because that's just uh, what he wanted. Why you would want anything more than Coyote Brown is beyond me, but hey, we've all got our flaws, don't we? So this pack is pretty unique in the fact that it can do a lot of cool stuff. You can make it a normal backpack. You can run it into your plate carrier. You can have it basically be the back of your plate carrier. And honestly, it's got a drag handle up here. And Cry does a pretty good stitching, but I particularly like these drag handles. They're not on nearly enough things for some reason. My, you can't see it. It's down there in a pile of clothing I need to wash. But my uh, Warrior Salt Systems little pack doesn't have one of these handles, and it would be a nice little addition, but it's not there, so even though I'm just using it as like a very, very light go pack, um, I don't have a drag handle, I have to carry it all weird. So, if you open up here, you already immediately see there's the backpack straps here. They're a very thin material, but they do appear to be of the expected quality, and you've got these cool, it's not just normal loops, these are elastic loops, and elastic is some quality stuff. Back here, you may notice that in this it's basically supposed to be your plate pocket. You got these things. This is a little H harness that you can pop on out of here, which I'm actually going to do. So let me just you know, put this on the floor. Respectfully, though, you're the guy. I'm selling this pack to who I won't name. I'm doing this all very respectfully. You got this little panel here. And as you can see, it's got the little Cry Precision logo. That's nifty. And this gives you your back support if you're using it as a backpack and basically not directed to the plate carrier. So this is. Your little bit of padding, it's very minimalistic, but I like that because it is very, very comfy padding. You can see it's very thin, but immensely comfortable, and you probably shouldn't be carrying an insane amount of weight on a plate carrier to begin with, so. There you go. Those are my two cents. Got your lot of numbers and stuff in here. You can put a, I'm assuming you could put a camel back. Yeah, there's two slots up here on the sides of the drag handle, and that's basically going to be your uh, run ports for the hose. How do you. There we go. Eh, finger. See, so yeah, that's how you do that. There's a lot of convoluted ways to actually put this together, as you may have noticed with all this weird Velcro and loops and everything. These panels here is what you're basically going to run your cover bun through and then loop it up back here if you're using it as a back uh, plate here back panel. So that's pretty nifty. There's a whole instruction manual and all the things you can do with this, and you might be like, well, good sir knights. Oh, hey, check that out. There's a little kind of like skeletalized backing panel. So it gives you some support and stability, but also has cut out so it's more breathable and uh, presumably lighter weight, so that's pretty nifty. Let's go ahead. We'll close that up. So that's your main compartment. Nice, big, deep little compartment in there. Next up you got this compartment up here, and that's going to be your sort of like smaller item. It only goes down to about there, but you know, not bad. Here's where you have this bag of absolute insanity. This is all the small uh, bits and components that you're going to use to set this up in any configuration you may desire, so that's a nightmare. And that nightmare is why we're not doing a official review. But yeah, that's comfy. You get some range in there. And you can put some nice things in there, maybe some snackies, maybe some treats, some water, I don't know. And you got this compartment here. This third compartment has a very unique kind of like mesh texture to it, so it does have a bit of stretch. 
which is a good thing to have because you might be packing something in here that's just a bit too bulky, but you got that extra bit of room there to really uh, make sure it fits and you can get that zipper closed. So that's kind of cool. I like that. And how durable is this meshy stuff? Well, I mean, it's cry precision. You're going to get something pretty durable. Maybe not as durable as the rest of the bag, but still really, really durable. I mean, so I'll put it this way. Cry wouldn't have done it if it was a stupid idea. In my experience with them, that's how a lot of their stuff works. And here, you got another meshy panel for the bottom part. So you got two meshy panels. I'm sure there's a more technical term for them, but they're meshy panels. As you can see here, I like this. This is the durable material, probably Condor is my guess. Durable, nice little material down here. Giving you a nice base support against gravity for any of the materials you might have here. And then you got your stretchy to keep everything actually in the bag. So. I'm never disappointed with Cry Products. That's uh, the antithesis of this review. So, off on the side here, you have a water bottle pocket. Now, this is obviously going to be more of a 500 milliliter standard water bottle size pocket. You're not going to be fitting anything too crazy in there, but just having a little bit of extra water in a very easy to reach space can be a godsend, let me tell you from words of experience. I, a lot of people just carry them in a dump pouch, but being able to throw it on your pack and keep that dump pouch out of the way, you're doing other cool dump pouch things, phenomenal. So, right side, not the same option. However, comma, pause for effect, you've got this little triple piece of molly here. So you can add a magazine pouch, you can add a larger three-wide pouch that you might desire to use, or something of that nature. And having this is also a nice thing. You can actually... Yeah, you can actually get a little camelback pouch going on there, extra mags. You can do a lot of things with Molly, I'll put it that way. And that's a uh, Pals or whatever you cool kids are calling them these days. Said the baldy man. So yeah, actually that's all pretty nifty and stuff. Like I said, there's that skeletalized back support. You can see it flexes, but it'll give you all that support, which is also, again, missing from my Warrior Assault little Hydro assault pack thing there because there's no backing so if I throw like a box of crackers in there always the pointy part of that box is going to be somewhere in my back and it's grossly uncomfortable which is why I'm working my way into a real backpack which we'll be reviewing I, I mean, it's not this backpack this is a expensive backpack <laughs> um, maybe well, I guess if you're doing spec off stuff then hey that's completely justifiable if you're doing the shenanigans I'm doing, it's probably a little overkill. It's a nice backpack, though. Very nice backpack. It comes in a variety of colors. Like expensive shoes, or Jordans. But with actual quality built into it, not just a name brand. So that's a nifty thing. I like that a lot. And uh, yeah, so this is a cool backpack. This actually, from what I just gleaned from the instruction manual, this little part here actually goes into your shoulder pad. So it's going to sit kind of like that. And then you put your little cover back on there with your Hypalon, whatever material craziness they use in a JPC. I do want a JPC, don't get me wrong. I'm actually doing a lot to get funds together for a JPC. 2.0. 2.0. Gotta emphasize that 2.0. 2.0 is nice. I like the upgrades and the everyone likes the Haley Strategic and other panels. You can swap onto the belly and be like, mmm, delicious, delicious. Price gouging. Not price gouging. It's not price gouging. It's just expensive. It's expensive like this bag. But yeah, I'm actually getting, myself, I'm going to get a little Vertex EDC bag because it's less obviously military. Actually, aside from that Molly, this is pretty good. If you got this in like a solid black color, people might not question it too much, but... Yeah, like I wanted to say, this is a cool bag, and that's all I really had to say about it, is um, it's a cool bag. And there's that sexy 45 degree cry branding there, so. Nifty, cool, awesome. That's the entirety of the review. I got to make my fun little uh, reference for this. Uh, I think mean, it's nice, it's kind of getting cold, so. I mean, it's not a bad idea to have an extra $10 shirt available, but probably not gonna wear it terribly often. Just being honest, I'm more of a Edward Black Haynes basic t-shirt sort of guy, honestly, but I do have a good friend who gets me Demolition Ranch shirts, and those are also amazing. So, that's all I have for you guys. Cool bag. A really cool bag. If you got the money, yeah, go buy one.
You can't go wrong. Go ham. But if you don't have the money, and World War III isn't kicking off just yet, you, you could probably hold off. Don't get yourself in crazy amounts of debt or anything and sit there around your YouTube channel constantly debating if you should open a Patreon because you're using all your money to do these cool reviews and you're also like working your normal little job and you like money but you don't make enough money. No one makes enough money. Within reason, but you get the idea. I'm starting to realize this is more blue than green. That's bothering me. So, that's all I really got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't waste your money. Be financially responsible. It's, uh, it's good for you. It's good for me. It's good for the economy. It's good for everyone, really, to be financially responsible because uh, banks tend to suck. So, cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous. And I will see you in the next video with a lot less plaid. So, cheers thing never turns off the way I want it to.